Hey what's going on guys. In this video we are going to talk about vector components in 3D space. So let's look at that one through graph. Let's say we have XYZ component. Okay. So let's say this is our Z component and let's say this is our Y component. Let's say this is our X component. And when we talk about vector components we have we talk about bases first. So there are three bases. We have I i hat j hat and k hat let's go ahead and put that one right here so this is our i hat right here and then j hat right here and then k hat okay and also we have to we can calculate the unit vector for example if i want to calculate the unit vector k that is k over k magnitude so that's the unit vector of k and we can do the same thing for everything so it means we have a unit length like unit length pointing there in this direction so that what this k hat like this hat mean right k hat j hat and i hat now when we express a vector equation in 3d space we usually express this one like this if a is equal a is this one a have x common and y common and z common so this is going to be ax i hat plus a y j hat and then a z k hat so these are the way to express a vector function in 3d space some books express this one like k y z or not not k y z x y z x y hat c hat or you will see some books express small a x small a y small a z so all of them are same thing and let's look at the dot product so when we talk about vector dot products if you dot product something like i dot j or i dot k or i dot j dot k you will get a zero because all of them are perpendicular to each other so you will get a zero in other way like if you dot i dot i or you if you dot j dot j or if you dot k dot k you will get one Okay, so you will get one and that's what we have to know about vector component in 3D space and that's how we do these kind of things. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.